Hi everyone, this video is going to tell you everything about the new Jet Engine 2.0, the most significant changes and improvements, and also the brand new functionality and features that have been brought into this version. Let's get started. So the first change that you're definitely going to notice is that we have updated the user interface. Now it's a lot more cleaner, a lot more intuitive and features a couple tweaks that are important for you to know. As an example, it is now possible to group your meta fields into tabs and accordions. So here is I went to Jet Engine post types and here I have my meta fields and I have quite a lot of them and for me it would be really helpful to have them grouped into two separate tabs. This is how it looks right now. So I have everything one by one in the list, in the sort of a list, but now I can create tabs. Let's try and do that. I create one more meta field and I call it general and here you can notice that one of the things that were automated in the new jet engine 2.0 is adding the slugs and the names of the items that you create like custom post types meta boxes meta fields etc now in the object type we have to choose tab obviously in order to create a new tab now to create a hierarchy of the objects and tell the plugin that we want these items to belong to this particular tab, to this particular group, we have to drag the general item to the very top of the list. But now we only have one group. Let's create another one. Give it another name, object type, tab, close it, and drag it on top, because I want to separate these three items. I want them to be in a separate group. Now let's update and what we see here now is that here now appeared two good looking tabs general and amenities one more addition to the functionality of jet engine plugin is the ability to edit default post types such as your posts and pages if you go to jet engine click on post types on the right hand top corner of this table you're gonna see this toggle if you click on it you're gonna switch to the default post types that you have on your WordPress website, such as posts and pages. If you click on any of those, you're going to be able to edit this default post type on WordPress as you were able to edit your custom post types before. Change labels, advanced settings and add meta fields. In Jet Engine 2.0, we have also added the possibility to add option pages. Option pages functionality allows you to create custom meta fields with global information that you're going to be later able to display anywhere on your website using Elementor and Dynamic Field widget in the Jet Engine plugin. Creating new fields for this option page is pretty much the same process as creating new fields for custom post types. We're going to add address and phone number meta fields. Now, if we click on the label of this option page in our sidebar menu, we will get to the window where we are going to see the custom fields that we have created. Now, we have to fill these fields in with the general information that we're going to be later able to display anywhere on our website with the help of Elementor Page Builder. And what's great about it is that it can be any type of content that you can put inside your meta field. Later in Elementor Editor, go to any page where you want to place this global data and simply use dynamic fields in order to display it. So now you can place the information about your phone number and the address on both your About page and the footer on your website. Also, we have added a possibility to sort your posts in a dashboard by custom values. It can be done with the help of admin columns. By default, you can only sort this custom post by the publication date. But with admin columns, you can now sort them by a meta value, a post term, or using custom callbacks. Let's say I want to filter these posts by the value from a meta field. Let's take the meta field capacity. The type meta value, field name capacity, then we're setting the column order and we have to enable the sortable option. Next, if you have only numeric values and no alpha values in this particular meta field, then toggle the numeric field option on. 
and now we have an additional column in your table and you can filter your posts by this custom value from your meta field. Talking about automation again, you do not need to manually type in custom callbacks anymore because now we have pre-made templates for your custom callbacks. Like in this example, if you want to sort our columns by the date, dragging out the information from this meta field, it's going to work, but it's not going to be readable. In that case, we're going to use custom callbacks. And it is now super fast to simply choose one of the pre-made templates of the callbacks here. And here you have your date values displayed properly in a couple clicks. Also, when deleting a post type, you will now be able to choose what to do with the posts that belong to it. If we go to the post type and click delete, here you will be able to choose what is going to happen to the posts attached to this post type. Besides that, you can now change the slug of your post type and not lose your posts, which was not possible before. So if you need to change the slug of your custom post type, even though it is not recommended, it is not always safe to do that, but if you need to do it anyway, if you want to change the post slug, simply change it in here in the post type settings and all of the posts that belong to this specific post type are going to be automatically updated. We have also improved the calendar listing widget and added some new functionality to it, like the possibility to display multi-day events. Simply toggle the yellow multi-day events on and set the start date and the end date. And here we go, now you can see how many days your events take up. Also, we have integrated Elementor's brand new icon library. So now you're able to upload your own SVG files or choose an icon from this library and display it with the help of dynamic fields in Jet Engine plugin. So these were the most important changes and improvements brought to Jet Engine plugin with the version 2.0. If you want to learn more about the development of Jet Engine, please check out our change log. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on Krakoblock products and more tutorials.